Hi everyone, so as you can tell by the title, today I have another haul. It's a Christmas haul from Michaels, and I know I do way too many hauls on my channel, but I think they're really fun. I only have like two more coming up, but I'll try to upload them as late as possible. Um, the reason I'm doing a haul today is because, first of all, I went to Michaels and they're having a 70% off all Christmas items sale, so I had to get a lot of stuff. I'm uh, not trying to brag, by the way. Uh, also, because I have some, I have restricted phone and computer use for a couple days just because of some complicated reasons. I'm not going to get into them right now, but I can't really go on my phone or computer that much to film and edit. So I figured a haul would be the quickest option because I don't have to edit much at all. So I'm super excited and let's just get started. So, the first thing I got is this Deer Head Trophy Kit. It's Recollections brand. This was about $5 with my coupon. And I know it looks really weird and like taxidermy-ish. But it's just this cool houndstooth pattern. I thought it would be weird and fun to make. Then I want to start paper crafting. And I have all the other supplies except for cardstock. So, ignore the baskets of laundry in the background but it's just these pretty colors and um i'm going to use crafting fantastic or fill and spiffy's tutorial there's 50 sheets this was i think five dollars there is this creatology holiday um 3d structure and i did not realize this but it says glue needed so hopefully i have glue it's a foamed gingerbread bakery and I bought a, I got a gingerbread house for Christmas and I tried to do that this morning and it was not good. It fell apart and like cracked. So yeah, not, not a good idea. Lastly for this bag, I got this Ken Keeley thousand piece puzzle. I've been really into puzzles lately and my mom, um, I picked up the last one, so my mom picked this one out, and it's just a bunch of magazines and newspapers. Then, moving up to my next bag, I have some more of these Creatology kits. There is this, um, house. I think this is what shed tips look like. It reminds me of one for some reason. There's also this house with Santa on top, and it's super cute. Then I got this klutz kit. I think it's new. I've never seen it before. It's string art. And it just has all these really cute patterns. Like um, a fox and a ice cream cone. And it comes with all the supplies. This, with the sale, was only 30 cents. Which I thought was amazing. So I had to get it. It's this melty beads. It's just perler beads. And it's a fox. Creatology brand as well. And it comes with the pegboard and the ironing paper and the beads. So basically everything you need to do this. And I'll probably use some tools of my own. I also got this rainbow Christmas tree. It's the same concept. And then I got all the different designs. So lastly, I got this reindeer. Then there is this build a scene um, foam. Like, I don't even know what this is. My mom picked it up. I also got this My Studio Girl 3D Magic Dough Hippo. And it's air dry clay and it just comes with all the supplies. I thought I would try this out. It's kind of weird looking. But I like hippos. I also got this paper gingerbread house because I thought it looked super cool and it's like kind of metallic. Oh, sorry. It was off camera. I also got this felt garland kit. I also got some Sharpie neon markers and they fluoresce under black light, but I don't have black light. Next, I got... These really adorable vinyl figures. This is a hippo and this is a pig. And you think they're really cute. They are piggy banks. And um, the stoppers can be kind of difficult to open because you have to twist them. It's hard to twist. 
but once you get them open then it's no good deal and they're white so i'm going to decorate them with my neon marker and they're so cute they also had versions like i think kid robots the brand and they sell them at barnes and noble they're just like there's one that looks like a monkey i'm really sorry that i don't know the name i seem like a fake fan or whatever but i've always wanted to get one of those they also have a tokidoki one and those are like 10 or 20 dollars i don't know but these were $2 each, so I think it's a great deal, and they had ones that look exactly like the Burns & Noble ones, if you know what I'm talking about. I'll try to put a picture on the screen if I remember. I just think these are super adorable, and I'll definitely um, post a picture on Instagram if I'm done. The last things I got were these white vans. As well as neon pink and these are exclusively at michael's because that's who, man who manufactures them so my floor is an absolute mess i have to go clean all this up now but this is everything i got again i'm really sorry if it seemed like i was bragging but a lot of people did a what i got for christmas video and i did not get exciting things really um i'm still really grateful for what i got i just don't think it'll be interesting to you because i got like a cookie press for making cookies oh but I was just so amazed at all the good sales. So I definitely recommend going to Michael's in the next few days or just any craft store because after Christmas sales are seriously amazing. I think it's even, it was even better than the Black Friday sale. Um, but anyways, I'm going to stop talking now and thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!